that is, that's recording. Let's see if I make any big mistakes with this. Uh, the jaunty angle of the camera uh, won't help. Right, what we have is uh, a low cost taco from eBay. Press start. See what happens with this. I've not damped out the, um, so I can shine the light on there. Okay, so that's got, uh, oh, 368. Uh, 0 0.9 at 0 0.5. I'm assuming that's uh, 368 RPM. Let's see what this is now. In here. And that's 245. Well, there we go. 246. Don't know if you can see that. Let's speed up to what one on there. Sorry about the vibration, I just can't get it down to the lower Okay, so I'm not going to be able to do that just yet. Here we go, on the that flywheel of that. And that is 606. And on the chuck, when it gets a reading, about 400. That's a nice round number. So one on the um, treadmill, we're getting 400 RPM on that one. Let's go up to two. Let's take up to two. Two. Yeah. It's not happy, is it, there with that, that, that vibration? Should we attempt to do it? Okay, and that is coming out at 1137. And on the chuck, oh, it's, no, it's missed it. It's missed it. It's caught something else there. Let me get it again. It's uh, not getting a, a straight reading because it's reading off some other bits of the chuck list. Okay, I think I've got it now. Right, okay. Seven. Well, that's the highest one. But you see how far it went wrong when it was getting multiple readings. 747. Uh, on the truck. So at two, I'm getting a, a RPM on the truck. About 747. There's going to be plenty of torque there. Uh, that now gives me a means of... Um, setting the speed of the lathe using this low-cost device from eBay. Okay, thank you. That's enough noise. Let's uh, stop. Did it work then? Slow the whole thing down.